back to Grania's Home and Kitchen. Guys, I was so delighted to see the response to my first video on my diet journey, on my weight loss journey, I should say. And um, I'm so delighted to see that some of you are actually going to follow along with me. So this is day four, and I actually feel better, guys. I have no heartburn. I don't feel bogged down with all that sugar and chocolate that I had been eating. And I know it's only four days. I haven't weighed myself because I said I'm going to wait. I'm going to do it next week because I want to actually, you know, get a, um, I want to get a surprise. I could get a shock, one or the other. But I'm hoping that it's going to make a difference. So guys, the Mediterranean vegetables that I did on Friday, would you believe I ate the last of them today for my lunch? So we got, we actually got, you know, a lot out of them. Um, yesterday I made the most delicious lunch for us which I have recorded and I'm going to show you here today so I'll save that as a little surprise for you and I'm editing the video and so this morning I was I actually had to rush out to work so I didn't have time to make anything here so I was on my way to work I was hungry and of course in Canada we have Tim Hortons everybody knows Tim Hortons and Tim Hortons is dangerous depending on what you want to eat but I had googled that you could have a whole wheat bagel so I said, okay, I'll quickly, I'll fly through, get my whole wheat bagel, and I had my cup of tea and my bagel. And then for my lunch, I had, as I say, the leftover Mediterranean salad mix with the farro in it. I didn't have any lettuce in it. And then I had an apple for a snack, and now I'm home, I'm gonna have my dinner. So today I'm going to make the most delicious meal. This actually, I have to credit to my daughter, Amanda. So my daughter, Amanda, is an amazing cook, and she eats so healthy. And it was her actually that gave me the recipe for the Mediterranean salad. It's quinoa. Now guys, when I first started eating quinoa, it really didn't agree with me. I don't know what it was about it, but I have built up a tolerance to it now and it's amazing. And there are people who don't tolerate quinoa very well. So if you can't tolerate quinoa, you can substitute this with another grain. In fact, you could use the farro that I used. Um, I did get a box of bulgur and quinoa. I'm not, I've never had bulgur before, but you know, by all means, if quinoa is not your thing, you can switch it out. You could even probably do this with the brown rice. So, it's again, it's very Mediterranean. So what's in it? So there are zucchini. That's a yellow zucchini. Or in Ireland, they're called courgettes. So courgettes or zucchini, and I have three of them. Our good old red onions. Big pack of red onions, guys. You need your red onion. It's amazing. Another pack of peppers, quinoa, and this is going to be cooked in either a chicken stock or a vegetable stock. So if you are a vegetarian, you make this with a vegetable stock. Um, feta cheese, yum, yum. I love feta cheese. Now guys, I'm, I actually had a laugh when I took this out. So I always use lemon pepper. I think, actually I have recipes on my YouTube channel with using lemon pepper. And I rented the store a while ago and I grabbed this thinking it was lemon pepper. So I was just going through my cupboards to pull it out for this recipe when I realized it's not lemon pepper. This is called garlic plus. So there, it looks like there's garlic, parsley and pepper in it. So normally we would use lemon pepper, but you can see I've used this and obviously didn't notice the difference. So it's going to give me an opportunity to use those bag of lemons that I bought. I'm going to add some lemon. <laughs> I'm still going to go ahead and use this um, for my vegetables because I have it and uh, lemon pepper is basically just ground pepper with um, a lemon seasoning so I'm going to use that. So guys the first thing you're going to do is turn your oven on. If you're in Ireland you're going to use Celsius and you're going to use 220 degrees Celsius. If you're in Canada you're going to use Fahrenheit and you're going to use 425 degrees. I forgot to mention guys you also have chicken with this dish. Now I had a whole big pack of chicken that I bought on Friday and I didn't have an opportunity to cook it. So I told Kieran to cook the whole pack. So he just barbecued it using my zesty Italian dressing. So this would, you would not normally add this type of chicken to the dish. So I'm going to explain it to you. So if you had raw chicken and you hadn't got it cooked, what you would do is you would put some olive oil in a pan, you would coat your chicken with the lemon pepper seasoning and you would just quickly fry your chicken for maybe about 10 minutes and then you would add it to the oven and cook it for a further 20 minutes. So we're going to start off with our vegetables. Okay, so I have my pan. I just have some greaseproof or parchment paper on it. 
I have my zucchini or my courgettes. I'm going to give them a quick rinse. So we're going to chop up our zucchini. Let's just chop it up into bite-sized pieces. Well, they're not really bite-sized pieces. Chop them up. Okay. Because we're going to be roasting these. I'm actually just going to put these on the pan here. And our peppers. Now, if you need to get another pan, by all means do. Okay, so same as we did yesterday. We're just going to take out the, I call them pips, the seeds of the peppers. <laughs> so you see, nice and clean. Put them on here. I think I will actually need another pan, guys. Now I'm going to cut my onion. I'm just going to cut the onions just into rings. And we're going to roast all of this in the oven. Okay guys, so here, here I have my two trays of vegetables and I'm just going to sprinkle, just sprinkle it over guys. It's hard to tell exactly how much you should put on. So what would you say, like a couple of tablespoons. I'm going to take our olive oil and we're going to drizzle, not, plenty of olive oil on it guys. Okay, so I'm just going to drizzle some lemon over all the vegetables. Guys, now I'm going to pop them into the heated oven. So you're just going to use the same, whatever amount of water they, it requires, you're going to use the same amount of chicken stock or vegetable stock, or you can use stock cubes, guys. You don't have to have this. I know at home, you'd probably just get the stock cubes. Okay, so I'm going to put my two cups of chicken stock in here and I'm going to bring it to the boil. I'm going to put this on my stove, bring it to the boil, and then I'm going to come back to you. So guys, like I said, we've already cooked our chicken, but I do need to heat it up. And I'm going to chop them up and I'm going to wrap them in tin foil and I'm going to put them into the oven about 10 minutes before the vegetables are cooked. Okay guys, I've taken the peppers and the onion out. Can you see how nicely blackened they are? I've just left the zucchini in for another little bit. Um, and I've also put the chicken in. So guys, we're going to cut this up. So remember guys, it's Mediterranean food, so there's going to be lots of peppers and other sun-ripened veg, I guess, uh, in the recipes. Take my onion, chop my onion into smaller pieces. Okay, you can see there's no great culinary skill required for this, just chop it up. <laughs> Put the gorgeous colors in. Oops. How lovely and black and they are, guys. So let's see. Guys, if that's not Mediterranean, what is? Oh, look at that. It smells so good. Okay, guys, so now I'm just going to fluff up the, the quinoa. Now I'm going to take my fantastic bowls that I bought on Dollarama and I'm going to pop the quinoa in. Okay, so now I'm going to pop in all these gorgeous veg. I'm going to mix all this through. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just so good? Let's look at this. So look, guys, how much I have left. I have plenty there, possibly for tomorrow night's dinner. You might just have it as a vegetarian dish tomorrow night, right? Now, like I say, if you were cooking this for a family, you could just add the chicken in. But the reason I, I don't want to add, as I said, is that I now have a vegetarian dish for lunch. But I will keep this little bit of extra chicken and um, we can make a sandwich with it. Okay, so I'll actually mix the chicken through the quinoa. And then guys, you're just going to take some feta cheese, and this is from Costco. So it's not in the water, it's, it's already crumbled. I like it this way, it's just easy to serve. Right? And then just sprinkle some delicious feta 
on top. If you don't like feta cheese, don't put it on, right? <laughs> okay, so there is tonight's dish, guys. Quinoa with Mediterranean roasted vegetables, chicken and feta cheese. So guys, I have a little help for today. This is my beautiful grandson Quinn and I'm going to make something nice for lunch. So I thought I'd record it, but I have to put this little man here because I am minding him. Are you going to look at everybody and show them how gorgeous you are? No? Hey Quinn. Are you going to look at everyone and show them how gorgeous you are? Yes, you're the best boy. Hey guys, now you had a little treat of seeing him. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to make a topping for our toast for our lunch. So I'm going to chop up some avocado, some tomatoes and some onions. And I'm just going to drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. So I bought these avocados on Friday and I've left it out. So I'm hoping, oh yeah, it feels good. Isn't it terrible the way you buy them, they're not ripe, then you try to ripen them, but yet you over ripen them. That's the only thing about avocado. Guys, it's going to take me an hour to make this sandwich. I have such a cute distraction here. Okay, so I'm just going to chop up some baby tomatoes. We still actually have some of the Mediterranean salad left over from Friday, and it's still gorgeous. So we'll probably have a little bit of that tonight with our dinner. What's Nanny and Grandad going to have? Okay guys, now I'm making a balsamic glaze. This is so simple. So basically you're just going to bring your vinegar to a boil, then you're going to put it in a medium to high heat. You're going to keep stirring it and you'll start to smell the vinegar dissipating and it becomes almost caramelly and it'll get thicker. Now I could have cooked this and made it thicker, but this is perfect for a glaze for my sandwiches. Okay guys, I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil on the, on the onion and tomato. A little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little. Okay, a little bit of butter. Hot guys. Now I'm going to put some avocado on the bread first. I'm going to see if I can kind of mash it down a bit. Spread out the avocado. Now you could probably skip the butter and just use the avocado guys. But I love my butter. So I'm going to take some of the tomato and onion. babies I gotta go to tend to my baby my son has them now I made the balsamic reduction but you can see I didn't reduce it as much as I would say if I was putting it on my Brussels sprouts I will be putting it into a little container that I can actually squirt it on but it's just too hot right now to do that I bought this little container at Dollarama and now we're going to sit down as usual with guess what a cup of tea and we're going to enjoy this Guys, I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I put up today. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And you know, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. So please guys, don't forget to follow me on this journey. And hopefully we'll all lose a few of those COVID pounds. Take care guys. I just want to mention guys, the best part of the Mediterranean diet, the red wine. <laughs>